New developments. Court unexpectedly ended early for the day in the Ross Harris murder trial in Brunswick after Harris's lawyers called in more friends to defend his character. Channel 2's Ross Cavett is live outside the courthouse where Harris's best friend said he considered him a good father. Ross. And the judge gave the jurors the unexpected news about four and a half hours ago here that the uh, court was done for the day. That after the defense presented more witnesses that tried to present, present Ross Harris as a loving father living life somewhat normally until that unexpected tragedy. A Home Depot co-worker told jurors the day Cooper died, he and Ross Harris had chatted briefly on a conference call mid-afternoon. I asked him how Cooper was doing. He said that he's doing good, that um, he was planning um, his birthday party is coming up. Members of the Marietta Church, where Harris attended, testified he seemed to be a loving father. One, a travel agent, said Harris was planning a family vacation the day before Cooper's death. Do you believe that Ross was a loving father? Absolutely. Yes, sir. Billy Kirkpatrick considers himself Ross's best friend. He volunteered to be his accountability partner for his porn addiction. But unlike other witnesses who said they had no idea about Ross's secret sex chats, Kirkpatrick said he knew and said it almost cost Ross and Leanna their marriage. It was the three of us sitting on the couch and, you know, Leanna was just talking about like, her disappointment in these things with him and just really questioning whether she could stay with him or not. Under testy cross-examination, Kirkpatrick admitted he did not know Harris was sexting with women the day Cooper died and even as he strapped him into the family's SUV that day. But he defended him as a father. I saw him struggle with sexual sin. The same time I saw him being a tremendous friend to me and a tremendous father. And a tremendous husband too, right? At times, yes. The reason we ended before lunch today is that uh, the defense has some experts that will come in and testify, among other things, about how people are uh, able to forget about their own kids in the back of the car, which has happened, unfortunately, frequently in this country over the past few years. That sets us up possibly for closing arguments in this case as early as early next week. We're live outside the courthouse. Ross Cavett, Channel 2 Action News.